Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you some of the best ways to try and fix blue screen errors in Windows 10. We'll be covering as many solutions as possible in this video, so hopefully it can help. Blue screens can be caused by a range of problems. Some are quite specific, while some are caused by the same sort of issues. As we'll be focusing on all blue screen errors, unfortunately I won't be able to cover specific issues, so if at the end of the video there's no improvement, try and research the specific error code given by the blue screen. I do have some videos that are about certain blue screen errors, so check the description to see if I've covered the error you're getting. Before we look at the solutions, you may need to restart your Windows 10 PC in safe mode in order to carry out some of the things I recommend. You only need to start in safe mode if the blue screen is making your PC unusable. I have a video in the description that will show you how to do that, and you'll need to skip to the two minute mark of that video for the correct method. The first thing we're going to consider is when the blue screen first appeared. This will help us determine whether it is caused by new software or hardware. You only need to try these solutions if you believe the blue screen might have occurred with a change in software, a change in hardware, or with a recent update. If you believe the error has only appeared since a recent Windows update, then we'll try uninstalling that update to see if that fixes the issue. To do this, go to the control panel, then programs, and then click on view installed updates. Find the update you believe to be the cause and right click on it and select uninstall. As well as updates, you may have downloaded or installed a new program at the time the blue screen started appearing, so try uninstalling it if you can. To uninstall a program, go to settings, then apps, and then find the app you want to uninstall, and then select it and click the uninstall button. If you added new hardware, perhaps you installed or upgraded your RAM, check if it is installed correctly or revert to your previous setup before the error. Alternatively, if you don't think a recent update caused the issue, it might be worth updating to the latest Windows update. This might fix compatibility issues if there are any. To update Windows or to check that you are using the latest version, go to Settings and then Update and Security. Click on the Check for Updates button and install it if there's one available. If Windows is unable to update, perhaps it fails midway through, then there'll be a video in the description showing you how to solve that problem. The next thing to try is to scan for viruses on your PC to see if that is the cause. To do this, search virus and threat protection in the search bar. When the Windows security window opens, click on the blue scan options link and then select full scan, followed by scan now. Allow the scan to complete, it could take a while but it should rule out that the blue screen is caused by a virus if it returns nothing. You can also use your own antivirus software to scan for viruses if you have some but this method will differ depending on the specific software you are using. One of the most common causes of blue screens are out of date device drivers. We're going to check if your device drivers are up to date and to do this, firstly go to the device manager. You can search for it in the search bar. You'll then have the list of all the devices installed on your PC. To update device drivers from here, you need to select a device. So in this case, I will choose my keyboard, right click on it and select update driver then click on the automatic search option. You can try this on all of your devices. If you have recently updated your drivers for a device and think that that could be the problem, then go to that device in here and right click on it and select properties. Then go to the driver tab and choose rollback driver if you can. The blue screen may be linked to your PC overheating. You might notice the blue screen occurs more when the air temperature is warmer or when you run demanding programs. It's difficult to fix this, especially if your PC is old without replacing parts, but you could try removing dust from your case and fans, check that the fans are working, or increase the space around your PC to allow for better ventilation. Also, if your PC is old, there's a chance that faulty components could cause the blue screen too. Depending on your PC age, you may need to replace parts or buy a new computer altogether. I know this is not much of a solution, but if your PC is old, then this might unfortunately be the only fix. As I can't see in your PC, it might be worth taking it to a repair shop to verify the problem. The next possible fix will be to try using your PC without any peripheral devices. This means unplugging things like your mouse, audio devices, external hard drives or adapters. There's a chance that these sorts of devices could be causing the blue screen error, 
due to compatibility reasons. Test each device by adding it to see if it causes the error. You should then be able to pinpoint the exact device that causes the issue. If you find that a certain device is causing the issue, then you might want to check the drivers like I mentioned earlier. You could either check for driver updates, uninstall the device or roll back driver updates all by following the section earlier. If drivers aren't the cause, then search your device's make and model on the internet to see if others have the issue. If you don't find anything, then you can try contacting the manufacturer. The next thing we're going to do is run the system file checker. This will check our Windows system files and it will replace and fix any issues it finds. To do this, you need to run the command prompt as an administrator if you can. Search command prompt and right click on it and select run as administrator. Click yes if it asks you to and when it opens type in sfc space slash scan now. I'll leave this in the description so you can copy it from there. Hit enter and allow the scan to run. This may take a while. We can also try another check to see if there's an issue with your PC memory. This is the memory diagnostics tool and you can get there by searching for Windows Memory Diagnostic. When it opens, you can choose one of the two options. You can either restart now and perform the check or do it the next time you start your PC. You can perform this check after the video if you wish or choose one of the options now and then you can return to the video for the final few solutions. If by now you still have the error, but you know that it has only recently started occurring, you can restore your PC to its state on a certain date. To restore your PC to a certain point, search recovery in the search bar. In the recovery window, click on open system restore and follow the steps. Click next and choose a restore point that is before the blue screen's first appearance. Remember that this won't affect any of your documents, but recent programs and drivers might be uninstalled. This means that some of the changes we made earlier in the video might be reversed, so it may be best to double check that none of the earlier fixes helped. Another tip regarding all the fixes in this video is to restart after you've made changes. You don't necessarily need to do it after every fix I've mentioned, but it could help the changes implement properly. As always, if none of the solutions helped, I will try and keep the description updated with new fixes. There will be links to all the videos I've mentioned and I will also add the link to the official Windows Blue Screen Error Troubleshooter webpage. The next time the blue screen appears, make note of the error number or text it gives and use that to look for more specific fixes to the error. As I mentioned, I have a few videos looking at certain errors so they will be in the description too. As a last resort, you can always fully restore your PC if you think it's a software issue or rather not your hardware and components. You can do this by going to settings and then choosing update and security. Next, click on recovery from the options on the left and then click get started under where it says reset this PC. Choose either of the two options but remember to back up your files if you fully reset your PC and as I mentioned, you only need to do this as a last resort. Those are all the suggestions I have, hopefully I've been able to help. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and either I or perhaps someone else might be able to help with the problems you're having. So if you have any advice for others, make sure you post that in the comments too. Remember to leave a like if the video helped, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.